Hey there, we're gonna be uh, showing you how to disassemble the Segway GT2. Uh, your tool list is gonna be a T27 Torx. T27 Torx is what's known as a star. This is a T27. That's gonna be used for six perimeter screws right here. You're also gonna need a Phillips times two and a three millimeter Allen times two. These are the three millimeter Allens. Now this will come off, those are the two Allens. I'm sorry, four? Okay, four three millimeter Allen. Next take off the two Phillips right here. Those two Phillips hold on the headlight. The headlight cable is this four conductor wire on a five pin connector. We're gonna be measuring voltages right here. When you turn this to the left to activate the headlight. So let's turn it on, I'll show you. By default, there's a running light. Turn this to the left. Hold it. Hey, Nick. Yes, sir. Do you have the three? It turns on. Headlight is now showing on. I'm going to turn it to the right. Is that what you have specifically? And it's off. Make sure headlight is on. That'll be an indication here by turning and holding this to the left. It's on. Headlight's on. When the headlight's on, the red and the black wires should have voltage present of 12 volts. Sorry about the glare. Um, Why is it? You're not pushing the pins in. All right, test with a uh, voltmeter. Make sure your tips are sharp enough to actually poke on the, the nickel there. And you should be getting 12 volts. Should be. If you're having an issue getting this cable out for that test, that's what the T27 is for. One, two, three, four, five, six. Report back that you're getting voltage there. Make sure you have sharp tips on your voltmeter. I'll have a link for you on a voltmeter on Amazon. This one I'm talking about is sharp tips. They have to make it through the plastic up here and touch on the metal.